Hey YouTube, how's it going? Um, I wanted to make a video because it's the last day of the year and everybody's doing like their reflections videos and things like that. The reason why I wanted to make a video today on December 31st is because last year I did a video, I believe it was called Seasons. And either I did that video on the, the, on the 31st or I did the video on the 1st. Um, and I had heard Donald Lawrence's song Seasons and it just gave me like this reflective spirit um, that, that, you know, encouraged me to make that video and document what I had been through um, that year and where I was headed into 2011. So I looked at that video not too long ago and I was really, I was really glad I got to do that to document um, where I have been and where I thought I was going into 2011 because it's, it's good to look back on that So that's what this video is for strictly. It's strictly a vlog um, of sorts um, I'm glad you're here watching it with me or watching it as I uh, give it to you um, because I'm gonna look at this and um, Probably a year from now and just you know see what kind of progress I made the first thing I want to say, I saw a really, really funny status update on Facebook, and it was from um, one of my friends, uh, one of my Facebook friends, I should say, and um, what she said was that going into 2012, she is going to keep doing the same thing she's always been doing, which is being the best person that she could be. And, you know, I really like that. You know, it's like, why change anything about me um, going into the next year? Um, I want to be the best person that I can. I've been the best that I could be this year, and I want to be the best that I can be next year also. Um, so, you know, why change? You know, why switch up every anything? I mean, obviously you learn lessons, um, and you implement new strategies and new lessons and new wisdom and new knowledge into your life. But as far as being the best Ayana that I can be that is absolutely what I'm going to be in 2012 and that's what I tried to be in 2011 also going into 2012 I am going to be determined you know to love more um, however I'm going to be um, I don't want to say less trusting um, but I want to be hmm more um i want to pay attention more to the actions of folks i had lunch with a friend yesterday and we were talking about you know what people say as opposed to what people do and he just said to me you know um you know watch what people do you know and look at everything they do and and look at everybody consider everybody and look at everything that they do as opposed to what they say and i thought that that was like the best advice i've could have gotten gotten in 2011 however it may um uh however it may be i think that is the most single thing that i will want to take into 2012 and that is to watch more carefully as to what people do now that's not to say that i don't watch what people do already i do Here's the thing. I don't say nothing. Like I don't implement action, and um, I think that is where I make made the mistake in the past with a lot of folks. Is that I see what they're doing, but I nav I kind of navigate around that, and I kind of just you know, uh, you know, just kind of continue to do me. I know where they're coming from, but I just kind of move around that. But I think I'm going to hold people a little bit more accountable for what they do as opposed to what they say. And if you're not doing what you say then really what is your motive what is your purpose in my life because every nothing is coincidence and everything has a reason everything has a purpose so i think i'm going to take that that lesson with me from yesterday into 2012 and be a little bit for my be a little bit more mindful of that um as far as me being brutally honest or <laughs> brutally honestly opinionated um, is what i've been called as far as that I'm going to continue that. You know, I have lost uh, four, four, uh, I guess, I would consider them friends, actually. I, I would have considered them all friends. It's like some kind of retarded noise. I don't know what that is. Um, I would have considered them all friends, and I lost them all. And I know I said, well, if you, if you lost them, were they really your friend? I, 
I really do believe they were, but I just think that everything just ran its course. Um, and and you know what? That happens. Um, things run their course and things happen. Maybe with the exception of one. Maybe not one of them may have not really truly been a friend. But, um, but you know, the relationship nonetheless ran its course. And I'm grateful to have crossed paths with them because I've learned off of each and every one of them. And those are lessons that I'll take into 2012 also. Um, so, you know, um, I'm not sad about that. I think I'm a little sad to have lost a friendship. But in, in some of those cases, I was completely honest. Um, and, and, you know, and the my honesty was what was not accepted. So... I don't know what to say for that. Like, I don't, I don't know what to say for that. I try to be guarded of my feelings. And so by doing that, I, I try to be honest um, to a fault. And me and my big Leo mouth um, sometimes gets us in trouble. So I guess I could have, I could use a different tactic or have a little bit more tact or, um, say things in a different manner but at the end of the day the truth is the truth and whether you wrap the truth up with one of these with the with a nice bow it's still the truth and they say the truth hurts and sometimes it does um so you know if it does you just have to recognize it and process it and you know and move on so i mean i don't really know any other way to put the truth other than to be truthful so I don't know. That's probably not one thing that I'm going to change. I'm going to still tell the truth. Because I hate being lied to. Um, and even though you tell the truth, or even though I may tell the truth, I still get lied to. So, hey, you know what? I'm going to continue to tell the truth. So, because um, the truth will set you free. <laughs> it obviously, it set them free. So, um, that's another thing. Um, as far as, like where I want to be or what goals that I have. I think that, you know, I am resolved to double my income. I'm doubling my income next year. Um, absolutely. I am also working in my multiple streams of income. If you don't watch Spark Wisdom, you need to get over to Spark Wisdom's page uh, channel right now. Um, Organic Life Products is the company that she started. I am the number five consultant I believe I believe I'm number five I'm the number am I number five I think I might be number five something like that but I am an organic life products uh, consultant and um, we are our goal and our mission our vision and our mission is to inspire everybody one per skin at a time and we're doing that by acknowledging that you already have beautiful hair and skin and that we can make it better um, with by with our organic and all natural products. Um, so that is one of my uh, multiple streams of income. And then I also have uh, three other streams of income right now that um, are trickling in, um, but they're trickling nonetheless. Um, so I'm very excited about um, increasing that stream, those streams, making those streams a little bit stronger so that that trickle turns into a stream, <laughs> so to speak. So I will be working on that. So with my full-time career, I've been considering um, I've been considering other uh, industries. As you know, I do carry an MBA. I've been thinking about using my MBA and becoming maybe uh, doing something in finance, as far as being like a financial analyst or something like that. Um, I've also um, considered. Uh, going public and uh, working in the federal government. Um, I'm also considering taking the test for the foreign service um, officer, uh, be a U.S. diplomat. And I don't know if I should put that on YouTube, but I am considering. You won't know if I did or not, but I am considering that. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I want my life to be intertwined with my career. I want my career and my life to be helping folks on a grander level, on a grander scale. And um, I, I want 
when when I get up to go to work, I, I don't want it to be like, oh, I gotta go to this job. That's not what I want, and that's how I feel now. I want it to be where I completely enjoy what I do, and I know that it's out there. Another thing that I want to do in 2012 is see more. I want to travel more, and traveling more is going to require more cash. <laughs> um, so either I, you know, get a job, you know, or start a career where I can travel the world or you know or I just start traveling there's so many places that I want to see and there's not very many places left in the United States that I actually want to see other than maybe New York um, I w would like to come to San Diego and California and also maybe back to Los Angeles I came there before and it, it was very brief so I didn't really get the full experience or ambiance of of Los Angeles uh, when I came so and I really didn't like it when I came there so I want to come back there but those outside of that th those are the only places that I really want to go in the United States I'm ready to go out um, I'm I want to go to the Dominican Republic for my birthday next year um, and I also want to hit Puerto Rico and oh I need to go to Miami and Key West and I'm already in Florida so I will be hitting those spots sometime uh, next year also um, so um, yeah, I, I, I want to do more traveling. I, there's places I want to see. Abu Dhabi, South Africa, Botswana. I saw House Hunters yesterday had International on uh, H HGTV. They had a uh, uh, episode where they were looking for a home in Botswana. It's a beautiful place. And there's so many beautiful places in this world. Kuala Lumpur, um, Thailand. There's so many places that I really want to visit. India, somewhere in India I want to go. Um, maybe the Delhi or something like that. I think that's what it's called. Delhi, 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 something like that. Um, so there's many places and many things that I want to see. Oh, Germany. I want to go to Berlin. Um, I want to go there also. So, and I have a couple friends. Well, I have one friend that lives over there, him and his family. And I have a friend here that lives, who's from there. So I, I'm going to team up with one of them so I can, you know, get some good sightseeing while I'm there. So those are kind of the things that, you know, I'm looking forward to. Um, my son uh, is with his father now, and I am excited about that um, because it's, it's, it's time. It's man training is in effect. Um, so I'll be uh, going to Michigan sometime in a couple months um, to visit with him. So I'm, I'm kind of excited. Um, just for life overall you know I'm single um, I'm a little lonely but it's okay um, because I don't really have a lot of friends here I do have one girlfriend um, that lives in uh, that lives near me and I make you know and I'm making friends and I think that um, you know that's just all a part of you know living you know outside of where you're from um, it was like that when I was in Arizona. I only had really one friend there, so one or two uh, friends there. So um, it's just, you know, part of, you know, living where you're not from, where are you leaving your family and your friends behind. And so a lot of my family and friends have all left Detroit anyway. So, um, you know, it's just a matter of being able to link up with them and go and visit and things like that. So, you know, yeah, I'm a little lonesome here sometimes. Um, but you know what it's okay you know it, it it really is it really is okay so with that said i will wish everyone watching this video under the sound of my voice a very 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 happy new year um i hope that you know my 2011 oh my highlight let's say this the highlight of 2011 for me hands down hands down was my graduation in Detroit at Ford Field, um, getting an MBA, something that I had set out to do 15 years ago, um, finally got it done. Um, in Detroit, my hometown, mom's there, brothers and sisters, well, my sisters are there, my niece is there, my son's there, my sister from Chicago's there, um, and my favorite, you know, my my hometown team, the Lions. I'm on the field. I'm on the field, <laughs> on Ford Field. Um, the the team at University of Phoenix was awesome. 
they had us riled up, pumped up, coming through the tunnel where the lions come out, you know, coming through the tunnel, had us all pumped out, playing the um, the commencement graduation song. They had, you know, and then after it was over, we're coming back through the tunnel. They had clappers and everybody was clapping and like, congratulations, you know, hands down, the best moment of my life in 2011, hands down down the best moment my best friend kareem was there because his wife also graduated and he was there also me being on the big screen getting my diploma one of my masonic brothers um was one of the faculty at the um at the commencement so i got to hug him and and you know and and, and shake his hand you know during getting my degree and after it was over so you know i did the I think I did the cabbage patch on the big screen. I did something on the big screen. But hands down, that was my absolute most memorable moment of 2011 was getting my MBA. I, you know, <laughs> that was a major accomplishment for me. So now it's time for me to put that into action. So here we are. Here we are, YouTube. Another year um, down another one to go they're talking about the world's gonna end in 2012 who knows you know what who knows um one i'm not afraid i'm not scared about it because i tell you what if it ends we all going so hey there's no reason to fret so um i am getting ready to get out of here um and give blood that's one of the things that i try to do to give back because i have the universal blood type um, so I'm a universal donor and um, I get emails periodically that says, you know, we need your type or whatever. And so I, I give blood a couple times a year. So might as well do it on the last day of the year. Um, they're up at Walmart. I need to go to Walmart anyway. So I'm going to go to Walmart, go give blood today. Um, Kenji, um, I saw the, I saw something. I think it was on Google Plus about needing deodorant and toothpaste for your February outreach. Um, everybody, if you don't know who Kenji is, Kenji Cat, go over to his page. He has a wonderful outreach called Do Something Saturday. Um, his big, his big um, outreach where he gives uh, life kits to the homeless in Los Angeles is coming up in February and he needs all the help that he can get. So go to, I'll put the link down below to his channel. I'll put the link to actually to his um, website and you can go there and donate either via PayPal or you can send donations to him if you don't know please 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 send me a message and I will assist you any way that I can because I need to help Kenji out the best way that I can but Kenji I saw that and I don't I'm not sure if you still need that so I'm gonna hit you up on G plus to ask if you still need that and if not I'm just gonna get some stuff anyway um, or or you know do what I normally do so again it's almost 20 minutes I don't want to go past that Again, Happy New Year, everyone. Um, see you on the other side of 2012. Mwah. I love you. Bye.